All right, so let's think a little bit about group by. And I'm going to go use uh, widgets here, which is another one you can import from Blackboard. And uh, let's just talk a little bit about, about grouping. So you're used to this, right? We would normally say something like, uh, say in, in widgets, I'm going to get the state. Select, uh, let's see, what, what table is that going to be in? Let's try the table, customer, table, TBL, customer, dot, what state are they in, customer state, and uh, table customer, I'm just going to do a single table query here, table customer dot, uh, cust ID, from table customer, obviously. Now what does that tell me, right? So that's, I'm saying, okay, show me. Um, every state and every customer ID. Super simple query, and you can see that I can see down here I've got uh, all my customer IDs and one state they're in, and that's that's good, that's useful. But maybe I want to know how many customers do I have in every state. Well, I could I could count them right. There's one in Virginia, two in Virginia, one in D.C., three in Virginia, one in Missouri, two in Missouri. Three, how many were in Virginia again? One, two, three, four in Virginia, five in Virginia, one in California, two in California. So you can see that that's kind of troublesome, right? It would be way easier if I could just write a report to give me that information. Um, so that's where counting and grouping by comes in. So let's let's do this in two pieces. I'll show you just the group by. Group by. And I'm going to group by state. Let's, let's make it fully qualified. TBL customer dot state. All right. That gets me a little bit different. This is a little more useful, right? So now I can see that uh, I've got these weird customer ID things that aren't doing me any good. But at least I can see exactly what states I have now, right? These are the states that appear in my system. Now, this report in of itself isn't much good to me because I've got this weird data going on. I can't tell are these individual records, are these groups of records. The only way I'd know that is by looking to see, well, they've been grouped. All right, well, that's useful at least. At least I know each of these represents a group of records. Typically, I want to do more with it to make it useful, and I'll talk about this again in another video, but just so you can see how we can make this useful. If I were to change this to be count and I'm just I'm gonna go really easy here I'm just gonna say count all of state and there we go I can, I can now see that these are groups I have four Californias two DC's one Hawaii two Missouri's uh, one Mississippi and five Virginia's pretty useful right so that's group by when I want to pull these things down um, and get groups of information uh, that's how I use group by. And let me let me give you uh, another example. Um, basically, anytime I want to get these things into groups, um, that's what I'm going to use is group by. And the point here, not so much an example, but just to point something out. If I were to put state here, and we won't fully qualify, just by, I'm going to get exactly the same thing, right? Um, and the reason for that is because group by um, creates these groups. And this just counts the group. So what I'm saying is I'm saying go out and show me um, all of the states in table customer. But then put them in groups. And then count how many are in each group. And that's what's going on. And that's what the group by does. Now typically you won't use the group by all by itself, right? Because again, if I took this count out, you'll see that the report you get um, looks a lot like select distinct. I don't really know if these are distinct uh, records or if these are groups and if they are groups how much is in them um, so you won't usually use a group by by itself um, a lot of times if you were doing that you might just use it distinct instead so that's group by for you